to around the halfway point and we've got chest and triceps. Now you'll notice throughout the transformation I start to adjust uh, my training principles accordingly. If I find that I'm starting to plateau in my progress, so um, you know I'm not losing a body fat that I, that I hope to lose or build the muscle and fullness that I hope to attain, I'll normally adjust this through my training. So I'll start inc really increasing the intensity. So sometimes I'll include uh, drop sets, supersets, giant sets, and the DTP, the Dramatic Transformation Principle. I'll normally include these as I progress through the transformation just to make sure that I keep going in the right direction. Anything that's really going to bump up the volume of the training, increase my heart rate so I'm burning more fat, and by bumping up that volume and breaking down the muscle tissue, I'm going to be building more muscle as well. So if I'm hitting a plateau or I find that the progress is starting to slow down, I don't normally adjust too much other than the weight training. This is where I find that increasing the volume will help build the muscle and the intensity will further progress my fat loss. So make sure that you make these adjustments as you go along, especially if you see that your body is starting to plateau. Anyway, it's chest and triceps. Let's hit the gym hard. I'll see you there. Just a shitload of warming up here first before I do anything. Our first exercise will be the flat dumbbell press. I'm carrying the warm ups over to the first couple of exercises just to make sure that my chest is ready to handle the heavy weight that's to come. We're going to do five warm up sets with a light to moderate weight, and you know, I like to put in plenty of warm up sets here, especially when I'm going heavy. As you can see, I'm bouncing the weight at the bottom just to make sure that I get a real good stretch throughout the chest and uh, have those muscle fibers activated and prepared for the heavy weights to come. For our working sets, we're gonna be doing around six to eight reps and I'll be doing two of these working sets. Uh, the first exercise we did was a flat uh, dumbbell press felt better this week, felt better than last week. Um, I think that had a little bit less stress on my shoulders today. I think I was very stressed last week with um, an overload of work at the moment. It, 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 just a lot of things were overwhelming at work and uh, I, th I think this week I've kind of got a grasp of it. So my cortisol levels are probably lower this week. So uh, I think that's why I felt a little bit stronger today. Next, uh, we're going to be doing the decline press, two warm-up sets, and then one triple drop set of around six to eight reps. On the last triple drop set, as you can see, I'm doing a rest pause principle. Just with a lighter weight, I just want to get a good stretch and a really good contraction at the bottom portion of my chest with this exercise. So you can employ it yourself, it's good to swap things up every now and again. I very, very, very rarely do the bar because I uh, tore my labrum, my inspirum, I can't even say it, supraspinatus in my shoulder, a couple of uh, rotator cuff muscles. I tore, so I, I never do bar, but I thought I'll just do it, just do it the once. Felt a little bit dodgy on the first set, so then I d decided just to do a drop set and I'll leave it at that. I don't want to play with fire, so I won't do that again. For our flies, we'll be doing two sets of around eight to 10 repetitions, and on the last set, I'm doing a double drop set.
Right after flyers, I went into a superset of incline close grip push-ups. I, I just did this at the end. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm just using my instinct here. I just wanted to squeeze out a little bit extra of the chest. That's why I was leaning right over, just to get that extra squeeze out. Uh, to finish off chest, we did uh, incline flies, only two sets. Uh, chest is a good, good body part for me and it responds very well with heavy weight and uh, mainly straight sets. So uh, we just did one straight set and we did one drop set for incline flies. I went up a little bit higher than 45 degrees to really you know, get the chest underneath the clavicle. If you're missing that kind of area there, then I, I recommend you go just a little bit higher than 45 degrees. Not too high though or you're going to bring in your shoulders. So next exercise is cable crossover. Uh, we'll be doing three sets of around 10 to 12 repetitions. On the last set, it'll be a drop set to finish off. The cable crossover is a great chest exercise uh, because of the di different variations that you can perform. As you can see here, I'm kind of pressing it a little bit more than flying. The reason why I prefer a press over a fly movement is that I'm able to get more torque with the lift so I can you know, lift a little bit more. Online tricep extensions, as opposed to going straight above your head, go behind a little bit. Like so, you know, imagine there's a wall behind you, and you're extending to the to the wall. You'll find that you'll get more of a contraction if you do it that way. If you go directly above the head, you can just hold it there. You could rest all day. You can't get too much of a contraction by going behind. You will. And when you actually go to failure, keep your arms bent and do like a pullover movement. It really stretches the fascia of the tricep. And then once you come above the chest you push out, like a close grip uh, bench press. So once your muscles have gone to absolute failure on the extension, there will be strength left just to get a little bit more out of them, you know? And uh, then we did, uh, we did three straight sets of that. Our next tricep exercise will be the overhead dumbbell extension. We'll start off with doing two standing warm-up sets with a light weight. Uh, so this is mainly just a stretch of fascia of the tricep and you know warm up the elbows and the shoulders a little bit before the behind the head movement. For the working set, we'll be sitting down on a military bench for back support and isolation. The back support is also critical because it keeps you properly aligned and the resistance allows you to push the weight a little bit further behind your head for optimal isolation to the triceps. I don't like to go down too far on this movement because it does put a lot of strain upon the elbows, so it's more of a partial rep movement for me. Our final lift will be bench dips, which will be a compound movement for the triceps rather than the isolation exercise that we just did. So with the overhead, that was working the rear head of the triceps, and now we're working the middle head of the triceps. So for the working sets, we're gonna do three sets of around 10 to 12 repetitions with a drop set on each. At the end, when I've got no weight on my lap, I'm just knocking out some partials. I like to mix up the isolations with the compound movements, just to get the best of both worlds, so you can get the mass from the compounds and you can get the definition and separation from the isolation. And now to finish off, we're just gonna hit some lower abs.
for abs today, we're going to be hitting the lower abs with the incline reverse crunch. Three sets of around 15 repetitions. It's a kind of an awkward exercise at first, but it's easy to master and very effective. It's just a slow, controlled movement. You'll want to position yourself uh, the opposite to what you normally would on an incline setup bench. So you'll be laying on your back with your head at the top and your feet near the floor. For this movement, you'll want a reverse crunch movement where you bring your knees up towards your chest and then elevate your hips at the top of the movement. Then you reset by lowering and straightening your legs downward as far as possible but without touching the floor. That was a great workout. Tomorrow is going to be another training day and we're going to be hitting legs. Rest, recover and I'll see you tomorrow.